freedom. Amen. Amen. Prayer for the nations. In the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 7, verse 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, then will I hear from heaven, and we forgive their sin, and we heal their land. This is the promise of God given to us. And as believers, wherever we are, globally right now, we are going to lift up our voices and we are going to pray. First of all, we are going to pray for global economic recovery from recession. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 4b, it says, And God divided the light from the darkness. We are going to pray that God will remove every darkness, every economic darkness that is upon the nations. Let us pray. Wherever you are, this is the time for us to pray. This is the time for us to call upon the name of the Lord. Every one of us, those of you by my left hand side, keep on, keep on, keep on, keep on talking to the Lord. The Lord is listening. Those of us in the social media, God is listening. God, those of us in all our uh, other locations, God is listening. Those of us right here in the Alpha location, God is listening. Open your mouth and talk to the Lord. Tell the Lord, remove the economic darkness over our nation. Are you in America? Tell the Lord. Are you in Europe? Tell the Lord. Are you in France? Tell the Lord. Are you in Asia? Tell the Lord. Anywhere you are, talk to the Lord in Africa. Tell the Lord to remove the economic darkness over the nations. We are going to pray. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 25, verse 7, verse 7, the Bible says, And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all the people and the veil that is spread over all nations. We are going to pray this veil of economic downturn, God will remove it over our nations. This veil of economic downturn, God will remove it over our nation. In many nations, people are losing their jobs. We are going to pray, God revive the economy of our nations. Let us pray. Are you praying? God is listening. God is interested. God is willing to heal our nations. Pray and talk to the Lord. Those of you right at the center, I thank God. You are talking to God. You, are you mean business with the Lord. And God will answer your prayer. Anywhere you are, call upon the name of the Lord. Our God is a prayer answering God. We are going to pray. Prayer for nations in conflict, banditry, kidnapping, and unrest. The Bible tells us in the book of 2 Chronicles, chapter 15, verse 5, listen. It says, and in those times there was no peace to him that went out, nor to him that came in. But great vexation was upon all the inhabitants of the countries. All the inhabitants of the countries. Do you know that there is no country that is free from all this conflict, unrest, they are all over the globe. And as we are going to pray, let's use some of these nations as our point of contact so that God will use them to reach out to other nations. Let's remember Afghanistan, let's remember Yemen, let's remember Nigeria, let's remember Ethiopia, let's remember Ukraine, let's remember uh, Central African Republic, let's remember Burkina Faso. Let's pray that God will intervene and let there be peace in these very nations. Let's pray. Pray and call upon the name of the Lord. The Lord is listening to your prayer. The Lord is willing to answer us. The Lord says when we pray, we humble ourselves and pray. He said he will hear 
he will heal the land. Let us pray that all these nations where there is conflict, that God will intervene. Let's pray that God will bring these people who are shedding innocent blood, destroying people, killing, causing unrest everywhere in the nation. Let's pray that God will bring them to repentance. Let us pray that God will bring them to repentance. Tell the Lord, wherever they are, God will touch them and bring them to repentance. In the book of Psalm, Psalm 9, verse 20, the Bible says, Put them in fear, O Lord, that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Let's pray that God will put them to fear. All these people who delight in war, who delight in conflict, who delight in shedding blood, innocent blood, who delight in causing commotion in the nations, let's pray that God will put them to fear. Let them know that they are nothing but men. Let's pray. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. We are going to pray that all those people that are sponsoring the people that are betting, the people that are backing them up, all their resources, God will dry up their resources. God will dry up their resources. Pray and tell the Lord he will answer. He is a prayer answering God. My brothers and sisters, I thank God you are praying. God will stop all the banditry, the, the kidnapping, the unrest, the conflict that are going on in these nations of the world. Let's pray, because when we pray, God will answer and God will bring peace. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Almighty God in heaven, we worship you. We bless you. We glorify and magnify your holy name. We thank you because we know you are a prayer answering God. Father, you are interested in the affairs of the nation because you are the God that ruled in the kingdom of men. Lord, we have brought the nations that are under economic downturn. We have prayed, oh God, that you revive the economies of the nations in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we have prayed and we are pleading with you, oh God, the nations that are facing unrest, kidnapping, banditry, and all kinds of uh, destruction of human life and property. Father, we pray that you will arrest all the people that are involved in all these things and bring them to complete and total repentance that they will impress the Prince of Peace and will experience peace in these their nations in the name of Jesus. Father, we as well pray that all those people that are sponsoring this unrest who delight in war and conflict, Heavenly Father, we pray that we dry up their resources, dry up their resources, dry up their resources, that they will bow before you and know that the Most High God ruled in the kingdom of men. And Lord God Almighty, the nations that have been, that are ravaged with hunger, with famine, with poverty, Lord, we pray for your mercy, O oh God. Father, we plead that in wrath you remember mercy. Heavenly Father, reach out to this nation, heal this nation, heal them, O oh God that they might experience the abundance of your blessings and that all the glory be given unto your name. Heavenly Father, we bring before you our leader, your son, your servant, the instrument you are using. Oh God, we present him before you and we are asking that tonight, today, oh God, there will be extraordinary manifestation of your power through him. Father, we pray that the Holy Spirit will envelop him. Father, we pray that as he open his mouth to speak, Lord, you will grant him utterance. He will speak with the anointing, overflowing power of the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we pray that we confirm every word he speaks to the glory of your name. Lord, every participant this very night, Lord, I pray that we reach out to them to the glory of your name. Thank you because I believe you have had an answer. For in Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. And every
Pode ser.